Hey, what up? It is ELB, Way of the Warrior. Last night, it was Rockhold and Jardine, and we learned a couple things. First and foremost, that Luke Rockhold may or may not be delusional. Let's be honest. The top 10 tier middleweights on the planet do, in fact, fight in strike force. Beating Keith Jardine and taking four minutes to do that does not put you in that talent pool. You have to beat Tim Kennedy, and you have to do it decisively, and then let's talk. Calling out everybody but Anderson Silva, that's some MMA math, as I tweeted last night, that even I can't endorse. You are not ready for the UFC, and Keith Jardine proved that last night. Tyron Woodley also proved that there's people out there that try to outfitch John Fitch. The most exciting Fitch fight has been recently him getting knocked out by John Hendricks. I think everybody last night kind of wanted Tyrone Woodley to get the same treatment because tackling somebody and lying on top of them for 15 minutes is so not fighting. It's excessive hugging. And if you're going to excessively hug a guy, uh, you probably can hang out in strike force a little bit longer. Stinson and Cephedine, way to kick off the pay-per-view. It wasn't really a pay-per-view. It was a freebie weekend on Showtime, but you get my meaning. A main card fight. These two guys just absolutely threw down. I'm glad to see them on there. And they're both great guys that if you separate and uh, make them you know, kick off the cards, they will uh, do you well. You know who else does you well? King Mo. And why does King Mo do you well? Because he knows how to fight. And especially after that boring, boring Tyrone Woodley fight, Mo comes out and says, <laughs> you want to know what a wrestler's supposed to do? He's supposed to tackle you and then pound you out. And then when he's done pounding you out, yell at the ref for not fixing it fast enough and going, hey, I don't want to hurt anybody. You need to jump in there faster. I was destroying this dude and you didn't jump in there faster. Oh, wait, you've got a hard job. I'm really sorry for calling you out. I didn't mean to call you out. That's what King Mo does in 15 minutes. Tyron Woodley should take a uh, cue card from King Mo. And King Mo is one of those dudes that I would love to see make the jump to UFC. We'll have to wait and see what happens. The other thing that we learned is that Robbie Lawler is not a guy to be kicked in the junk. You kick him in the junk, he's going to end the fight. And just like that, become a contender back in strike force. He's had a rough couple of years. He's... um. Uh, back on the the men from asthma, I guess he had trouble breathing. It was something that they talked about last night. Uh, he didn't have any trouble last night, and um, look for him to have a great 2012 if he keeps uh, the aggression up. And uh, he's not even 30. He's got that many fights. He looks that haggard, and he's not even 30. So could be an interesting year for Robbie Lawler in strike force. The other things that we learned is that uh, Chris Cyborg got uh, dinged for steroids. I know you're totally shocked. Here's the crazy part. Uh, she says it was some sort of dietary supplement she needed to take and didn't really understand the ramifications of taking it. We've heard that a thousand times before. Dana White says stripping her of the belt and probably shutting down the 145-pound division of women in strike force, which I, I think is just a convenient excuse for something he probably wanted to do all along anyway. But that's something that came out this weekend. Also, Hermes Franca got only 42 months for the um, rape charges that were against him, which I, I think was a little light for such a disgusting and horrific act. So um, I, I don't know what's going to happen with him. I hope we never see him back in mixed martial arts. So that's, that's what I would like to see. We will be back this Friday because a lot going on. As we told you time and time again, 2012 is the year of mixed martial arts. And uh, we got another event this weekend. We're going to Rio, kids, as we've got Jose Aldo and uh, Mendez for the title. We will talk about that on Friday. I will give a uh, breakdown probably on Thursday, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And if you're out celebrating the birth of uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce's baby, do it safely and get a designated driver.